Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Warmuffins, and I'm here today to bring you episode 6, I believe, of my Pokemon Crystal walkthrough series. And right away, I do believe we are going to go ahead and challenge the gym leader, Bugsy, for our second gym badge. Now, Bugsy only uses bug type, so if you have, if you chose Cyndaquil right away at the beginning, he's going to be really easy. And even if you do have a Pidgey or something, he is still going to be very easy. As long as you've leveled him up. Them up. Whatever. Doesn't matter. So, I'm going to head and I'm just starting to, I'm going to start using Togepi off. And I use Minimize and he stays that small. And I was like, what the hell? Hacks. But, um, whatever. Doesn't matter. Just thought that was really something weird I should share. So this whole, like, gym trainee thing is sped up because it was really, really long that's what she said but it was like four no like like yeah like four minutes to face all these guys which is really long so it's like only two now or something i don't know i'm not a time expert shut up so yeah once we get through all these guys i believe i go ahead and, and i heal up my pokemon before battling bugsy because going having your pokemon half with half Having your Pokemon with half their health before you race the gym leader isn't very smart. No, it's not. So, yeah. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Okay, then. You've got a Metapod, and you think you can beat me. So, Togepi uses... A, fl a fire move, which is really good, and then he goes and commits suicide. Gee, thanks. X-Hawk, you're so helpful in this situation right now. So yeah, Pidgey is just, he makes quick work of the his Scyther and his other Kakuna. I don't know. I never stood why he has those Pokemon in these games. So yeah, he was really easy, he's like, you're an expert, blah blah blah. So he gives you the Hive Badge. If you have any Pokemon up to level 30, even trade ones, they'll still obey you. Pokemon that will know Cut will be able to cut trees outside of battle too. Here, I also want you to have this. You see the TM-49. It contains Fury Cutter. Not really a move that I would always use, but... I guess if I used a Beedrill or something, then that would be something I'd use. But I usually don't have a bug Pokemon with me, because I, I guess I just don't, don't know why. So then, after you defeat this the gym leader, I would suggest going to heal your Pokemon, because you're going to have a rival battle. You want to come over to near, go into Ilex Forest, but you get stopped by this nub. He's like, tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! Quit lying. You're not joking. Let's see how strong you are. Think he's so full of himself. Hershey, freaking honky. And this is really sped up because I um I could only use hypnosis on him and Togepi didn't wanna cooperate and kept using ones that didn't even attack him. And then I used Slash. Pretty sure Slash is a normal move, unless it was flying in this game. But either way, that was just still really weird. And I think I fall Togepi falls asleep like three times. Maybe maybe it was only twice. But then, um, I have to go, he runs out of metronome, sadly, so then I have to switch to Pidgey, and then I'm an idiot, he's like, oh, he's about to use Bayleaf, do you want to switch Pokemon? Yeah, I'll switch to my water Pokemon. How smart can I be? Not very, just saying. But so then Pidgey makes really quick work of him. And then I had to slow it down right here because I was fast forwarding everything, and then you could see Pidgey evolve, yay, now he's a Pidgeotto. So special. He's like, Pokemon trainer, it doesn't matter who or what. I'm going to be strong and wipe out the weak. And that goes for Team Rocket too. They act big and tough in a group, but get them alone and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. A weakling like you is only a distraction. Yeah, I'm a weakling because I just beat you twice. Or for the second time. Whatever. And this is why I don't like adding people on this game or whatever, like random people. Because then they call you and she's like, hey, I'm going to waste your time while you're making a video. <laughs> We don't care. 
So then you want to go into Ilex Forest. And if you went here before the gym battle, there wasn't really anything to do. But now, since you beat the gym leader, there's this dude. And he's like, oh man, my boss is going to be steaming. The far fetch that cut trees for us took him off on me. I can't go looking for it in here. It's too big, dark, and scary. That's what she said. Um. So yeah. Um. So then you see the far fetch and you press A. And he's like, this is the missing Pokemon. The far fetch is just like, whoa! And then you want to take this route, or else um, you're going to have some problems. Uh, you want to go up here, and just behind the Farfetch'd, and then you just want to keep moving it forward, back to where that dude is. And then when you get him all the way back up here, the trainer dude, he's like, Wow, thanks a whole bunch. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a gym badge. And then... Moving one space, I found a random Pokemon. Thank you. He's like, oh, my forefetched. You found it first, kid? Without it, we wouldn't be able to make charcoal from cutting trees. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. And then he gives you cut, which is really, really helpful. He's like, but to use it, you have to have the Zalia Gym Badge. So then I go ahead and I teach cut to Bellsprout, who already knows a TM, which is good. Or an HM. Shut up. And Weedle, go away. So then you use Cut, and it says Ilex Shrine, and it's in honors of the Forest Protector. That was really bad talking on my part. Don't judge me. He's like, the trees are so overgrown that you can't see the sky. Please watch out for items that may have been dropped. And when you looky over here, there's an item. And it's an X attack. How perfect. And then you just want to come up here, and you see the dude who looks like he's hugging a tree. And over here there's an antidote. And that's that way up there, that's the way to get out. But if you want to know uh if you want to get a strong TM from the dude that was hugging a tree, you want to come over here. And he gives you the well, Caterpie, go away. He gives you the HM headbutt, which you can use to knock down these little or you can use to hit these little trees, and they could knock out a Pokemon. So I go ahead and I teach Headbutt to Togepi because he needs more of an attacking move. And yeah. So then I go and I I could I could do this forever, like just hit the tr hit the tree forever, but I get a hoot hoot who's asleep. Which I guess I don't understand how that works. You know, I headbutt you and you and you're asleep. Doesn't really make sense, but whatever. So I just run away from that. And then I decide to run into a wild Pokemon. That's not really it. But I headbutt on this random one, and I get a Beedrill, which is like, Oh my god. It's a Beedrill. So then I go ahead and, and capture it, which is really... I guess that's who I would teach Fury Cutter, I think. Fury Cutter, is whoever, whatever he gave me for a TM, that's what I would have teach him. But then I kind of just give up, sort of, while headbutting all the trees. But, um, yeah, that wheel's just like, no, I don't want to headbutt anymore. Don't like wheels. Over here, there's an ether, which is really good. But, um, I really, I, I guess I usually never use them. Like, even in the Elite Four, because that's when I would use them. But I don't really even use them there. Like, unless it was on Metronome, which I would do it. But, like, in all the other games, I don't think I ever use ethers. Maybe, like, once or twice during the whole game, and I have, like, ten left over. But, um, they restore ten of your Pokemon's moves, which is really good, I guess, if you're... Like, if you have, um, Ice Beam or something like that. And then if you come up here, you're now on Route 34, and there is just a bunch of random people being sped up through. So, yeah, level 7, or level 7 Rata, level 10 Stanshrew, level 8 Spiro, and level 8 Spiro. All pretty easy. And then he's minimized again, and still, and he, he stays like that, it's kind of cool. This dude has a schnabel. Um, so I run out of metronome, or no, I, I fainted, so then I switched to Totodile. And then this dude's got a level 10 Mankey and a level 12 Diglett. And they go ahead and switch Totodile for that. And then 
Um, after this girl, I am go into complete idiot mode. Well, not not after. Well, the Bulbasaur I take easy of. Then I go into complete idiot mode and I press B while Totodile is evolving. So I'm just like, oh, Mega Face Palm. And if you go in here, the dude. Oh, no, not not you. Go away. I don't like you, Mr. Cop Man, Mr. Policeman. But this dude, he gives you an egg, which is I don't know what it is yet because I've been involved. Because this is the last um. Not live recorded Pokemon thing. Yay! So then, yeah. Um. I deposit those two, and I get the egg. And then I was just like... Like, I got the egg or whatever, and then I was like, Hey, you didn't give me an egg. So then I thought he took one of my Pokemon, and I'm like, Which Pokemon did you take? You freaking honky. And then I was just like, Well, why won't you give me my Pokemon back? Oh, but I won it. But I want it. But I, they didn't have it because I was being, I was just being paranoid. And then I thought going out there would see my Pokemon, but they didn't even have it, so I couldn't tell if that was legit or not. So then I was just like, you know what? Whatever, screw you, old man. I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks for all the feedback that you give me because it really does mean a lot. Um, if you could go ahead and give a like and comment on this video, that would be awesome. But um, my name is Warmuffins, and I'm out.